It is an undeniable reality that business processes typically involve and generate a diverse range of data and documents. Utilizing the data object element can offer insights into these inputs and outputs. In the provided example, the instructor initiates the creation of a training materials indicated by the directional arrow. Subsequently, the training materials become accessible for other participants in the process to review, enhance, and provide feedback. Data objects serve to clarify the data flow within your business process. It is crucial to note that these objects do not present a comprehensive overview of all data accessed and generated throughout the process. Instead, they inform the reader about the most pertinent documents and data stores. The connection of data objects to tasks through arrowed association flows illustrates the inputs and outputs of a task. Examples of data objects include applications, templates, receipts or invoices. Typically, data objects are not intended for reference documents like standard operating procedures and work instructions, but rather for items essential to task completion or as task results. It is recommended that each data object includes a URL link to the corresponding document in your organization's central document management system. While Signavio allows document uploads, it has limited data storage, and uploading documents creates a secondary source of truth that requires proper maintenance. As a general guideline, use data objects to highlight documents or other data objects that process participants rely on to complete a task. Now let's learn how to create data objects as outputs and inputs. As any other element, we can find the data objects element from the left-hand shapes panel and we'll drag and drop it next to the activity which creates or uses the document. Then we should label it accordingly. For the first step of the process, the training materials are being created, so the data object should be shown as an output of this task. To do that, we can select the task and connect it to the data object element, which will create the proper association. Within this element, you can store the URL link to the relevant document. We will talk about the dictionary in our next course. If we want to create an input to a task, we will use the same element, however. This time, we will select the data object element and connect it to the task. And this how you differentiate an output from input document.